September 5th. Prayer is the one prime eternal condition by which the Father is pledged to put the Son in possession of the world. Christ prays through his people. E.M. Bounds. Today's devotion is taken entirely from E.M. Bounds' classic book, Purpose in Prayer. The gospel, in its success and power, depends on our ability to pray. The dispensations of God depend on man's ability to pray. And yet, conscious as we are of the importance of prayer, of its vital importance, we let the hours pass away as a blank. When we calmly reflect upon the fact that the progress of our Lord's kingdom is dependent upon prayer, it is sad to think that we give so little time to the holy exercise. Everything depends on prayer, and yet we neglect it, not only to our own spiritual hurt, but also to the delay and injury of our Lord's cause upon earth. The forces of good and evil are contending for the world. If we would pray, we would add to the conquering power of the army of righteousness, and yet our lips are sealed, our hands hang listlessly by our sides, and by holding back from the prayer chamber, we jeopardize the very cause in which we profess to be deeply interested. Prayer is the one prime eternal condition by which the Father is pledged to put the Son in possession of the world. Christ prays through his people. If there had been importunate, universal and continuous prayer by God's people, the earth would have been possessed for Christ long before this. The delay is not to be accounted for by the inveterate obstacles, but by the lack of the right asking. God has no force and demands no conditions but prayer. If more or all of the disciples of Christianity were to pray with an earnest and unalterable resolution in order that heaven should not withhold anything that the most persistent prayer could obtain, it would be a sign that a revolution of the world was at hand. Today's Prayer Father, forgive our neglect of prayer. Teach your church to possess the world for Christ through our prayers.